The sixth film in the Planet of the Apes franchise, 2001 Planet of the Apes, was a financial success. It was the 10th highest grossing film in North America and 9th highest worldwide of 2001. It's been 21 years since the movie was released. Let's take a look back at the stars of the movie and find out what they have been up to now. Actor Tim Roth turned down the role of Severus Snape in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone to star as General Fate in 2001's Planet of the Apes. He was 41 then and is now 60 years old. With a career spanning for more than four decades, he was among the group of prominent British actors of the era, the Bird Pack. Roth also portrays Emil Blonsky, Abomination, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the role that he has recently reprised in the film Shang-Chi, The Legend of the Ten Rings. And in the upcoming Disney Plus series, She-Hawk, set to be released in 2022. Actor David Warner is portrayed both romantic leads and villainous characters across a range of media, including Senator Sander in the 2001's Planet of the Apes. His other credits include A Christmas Carol, Titanic, Mary Poppins Returns, and various characters in the Star Trek franchise. As of now, he's 80 years old. Planet of the Apes, Japanese-born actor, producer, and martial artist Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa appears as Atar's mentor, Crow. Often cast as villains, he is known for his film roles in the James Bond film License to Kill, Pearl Harbor, 47 Ronin, and the Mortal Kombat franchise is the evil sorcerer Shang Tsung. The actor is 71 as of this video. Limbo, the comical orangutan who works in the trade business of human slaves, was played by an American actor and producer Paul Giamatti. As a familiar face to audiences, he has appeared in numerous projects such as American Splendor, Cinderella Man, 12 Years a Slave, Saving Mr. Banks, San Andreas, and more. The actor was born in New Haven, Connecticut, on June 6, 1967, which makes him 54 years old now. Actor Michael Clark Duncan had put his name with the acting map with his Oscar-nominated role of John Coffey in The Green Mile before appearing as Colonel Attar in Planet of the Apes. After the movie, Duncan continued to take on high profile roles in movies like Daredevil, Sin City, and Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. Sadly, on September 3, 2012, the actor died in Los Angeles from complications of heart attack, he was 54 years old. In the 2001 movie, actress Helena Bonham Carter starred as Ari, the chimpanzee helps Leo lead the rebellion. Best known for his centric fashion, dark aesthetic, and for often playing quirky women in independent films and blockbusters, especially period dramas, she's the recipient of various noble accolades. Carter is known to international audiences with Rose and Harry Potter series. Les Miserables, Cinderella, and Tim Burton's directed movie Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber, The Fleet Street, Alice in Wonderland, and more.
As of now, Atrus is 55 years old. Admiring director Tim Burton, retired American singer, songwriter, and actor Chris Christopherson had immediately agreed to be cast as Kurobi. Many of his songwriting credits were hits for other artists, and in 2004, he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. As of this video, Christopherson is 85 years old. The female slave and Kurobi's daughter, Dana, was played by Canadian actress, fashion model, and former synchronized swimmer, Estella Warren. She later appeared in television series like Law and Order and was arrested twice for driving under the influence of alcohol and domestic violence. Born in December 23, 1978, Warren is now 43 years old. Signing on for his role after a five-minute meeting with director Tim Burton, Mark Wahlberg stars the protagonist, Captain Leo Davison, when he was 30, and is now a high, prolific 50-years-old actor. Wahlberg kept on starring in big-budget movies from action to comedy such as The Italian Job, The Departed, Ted, The Transformers franchise, and was the world's highest-paid actor in 2017. He also served as executive producer of some HBO series, co-owned the Wahlburgers chain, and co-starring the reality TV series about it. That was all for today and we hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment below if you have any recommendation for our channel and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to support us. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.